Hi, first grade. I'm Miss Lankford, and I am going to be your art teacher for the next couple weeks. So um, I have a lot of fun projects planned. So we're going to get started with our first one, which is going to be um, fall trees. And we're going to be using something called folk art to draw the insides of our trees, the trunk and the branches. And then we're gonna use some watercolor paint to paint the leaves. So you need a Sharpie and it has to be a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, you need a black crayon. A black crayon will work too. So we're gonna start by drawing some tree trunks. And they don't have to be very big. So I'm just going to draw like that. And I'm actually just gonna come to a point at the top. So a tree trunk is wider at the bottom and thinner as you go up. So once I have it drawn, I'm gonna color it in. And then we're gonna talk about some of the ways you can make the branches. So the first one I'm going to do is gonna just be the one that looks most like a real tree. So it's just gonna have some lines sticking out. Okay, so there's our first tree. And then I'm gonna draw another one. Um, this one is gonna be skinnier. So I'm actually just gonna take my Sharpie and make a skinnier trunk. And this one is going to have some circles at the ends of each line you draw. So this one's kind of looking like the first one, except we're adding some bigger circles. Now, if I go too fast, I always say, you're welcome to pause the video so that you can catch up. All right. And now I'm gonna do another skinny one. This one might even be skinnier than the first one. And this time I'm gonna do a curved line. It's just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go back and forth and back and forth and it's going to get bigger as it goes down okay the next one i'm just going to do one straight line 
I'm going to make this one a little bit taller. And this one's just going to have straight lines going across. So they're going to start off small. And then they're just going to get a little bigger each time. So this one kind of reminds me of a Christmas tree. And then we'll add a couple more. So these are the trees that are closest to you. So that's called the foreground. And so they look like they're bigger, but we can put some trees in the background. And since they're gonna be further away, they look smaller. Even though they're not smaller, they just look smaller. So if you looked really far out your window, you could see everything that's farther away looks smaller. So I'm going to add a couple back here. All right, this one, let's see. I think I'm going to add some loops. This one, hmm, maybe I could do some triangles. This is going to be a little tricky. So triangles are shapes that have three sides. pretty good and another one maybe this one I'll do the dots again Okay, and then do another one over here with the lines. So you can repeat what, what trees you're making. And then maybe one more. Okay, so if you want to, you can even draw a little line like this to make it look like it's in the background far away. All right, so since this is a fall picture, I'm going to be using the warm colors. The warm colors are the colors you see in fire. So what would that be? Red and orange and yellow. And I am gonna use some green too. So if you look at my paint set, which is very messy, I'll be using red, orange, yellow, and green for my trees today. Now this is the, it's actually easy, but I think it's fun too. So I'm gonna start with red got my brush wet. We're just going to paint around it, around all the branches like that. 
and fill it in. So this is fun, but it's actually pretty easy too. And if you don't like, um, you can, if you don't like the color so much, you can make it darker. So if you use red lightly, it usually comes out like pink color. But I want it to be red, so I'm adding a little more paint to it. All right. Now I'm going to do yellow. So I'm going to paint this one, this pretty color of yellow. And if your trees touch, that's fine. If you want that color to blend, you can keep coloring right there. But I'm going to pretend, well, yeah, I guess I'm going to go over it a little bit. So my yellow tree is coming a little bit on top of my red tree. Okay. Um, uh, while I'm using the yellow, I'm going to just go ahead and paint another tree up here yellow. Okay, now I'm going to go to some orange. So the reason I said you have to use Sharpie is because it's a permanent marker and it won't go anywhere when you color over it with watercolor. If you use a regular black marker, it'll smear the marker. And if you use a crayon, the watercolor can't go through the crayon because it's made of wax. Um, so uh, crayon is a good thing to use also. All right, now I'm going to go with some green. I'm going to make these look like pine trees. Pine trees are also called evergreen trees because they stay green all year long. They don't change colors like other trees do. And they don't have, really have leaves. They have needles which are supposed to be like the leaves of the tree, but they're called needles because they're, they're kind of sharp and pointy. All right. There's an evergreen. And I'm gonna make this one up here green also. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to red. And I'm going to color this one over here. Red. And I think I'm going to color this one red. And the last one, I'm going to do orange again. Okay, so you can leave the rest of the picture white. You could, if you want to, you could color this part up here blue for the sky. And you could color this part down here green for the grass. So it's really up to you. But I, had, I hope you had fun making our first project together. And once it's dry, you should find a nice place to hang it up. And then you can take it down after Thanksgiving to put up your Christmas decorations if you celebrate Christmas. All right, so I will see you for our next video.